What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do the Super 8 effect inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Woo! Today, I'm super pumped. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the Super 8 effect inside Resolve 16. Plus, I've got something special I'm really excited to announce. So let's jump inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So you guys can see I made this really cool Super 8 kind of old vintage look on top of these video clips. It's something really fun to do and to spice up your videos. It's very trendy right now. All the vintage stuff is really coming back with this full swing. I mean, even fanny packs. God help us all. Now let me start this off with a couple tips. First off, you should be shooting at a high f-stop, not at a low f-stop. You should be shooting really high because high 8 cameras really didn't have depth of field. Some of these shots I did have depth of field. It kind of is what it is. The second tip is try to do everything you can inside camera. If you can change frame rates and do off frame rates inside your camera, do it. It's going to give you a better result. Now I understand a lot of cameras can't do that. A lot of cinema cameras can and the higher end ones can, but most of your entry DSLRs, mirrorless, they can't really do off frame rates. They can't do 16, 18, even 12 frame rates. They can't do that. So inside Resolve, I'm going to show you a workaround and how to kind of fake that off frame rate look. So I'm gonna take this random video clip I have of this couple walking around. This was not shot in off frame rates. This was actually shot in 59 frames. So I'm gonna fake this and show you how I did it. First thing I'm gonna do is hop in Fusion. I'm gonna move both of these over here and out of the way. I'm gonna click on Media 1 and I'm gonna hit Shift Spacebar and I'm gonna look for a Time Stretch. Time Stretcher node, we're gonna add that. Over here under the source material, we're gonna right click and go into expressions. What that's gonna do is it's gonna drop frames and kind of chop it up a little bit. It's very confusing and I know a lot of people are not a fan when I go into the expressions and side resolve and infusion. All you really need to do is copy that code, put in your expressions and you should be good to go. Then we're gonna hop back over to the edit tab, let that render out, then you should have a good result that kind of looks like an off frame rate or something that was shot, not shooting 59 frames or even 24 frames. Here's the before and here is the after. You can see it does a really good job kind of faking you out. In my opening intro, I actually snuck some clips in that were not shot in off frame rates to kind of fake you guys out and prove that you don't have to shoot everything at off frame rates. Ideally, you would want to do this in camera to get the best result, as in anytime you do a special effect, you're always gonna wanna try to do the best you can in camera first, practically on the set, on the day that you're shooting, but if you can't, there are some workarounds in post that you can try to fix. The next step you could do is actually crop that clip from the left and right and soften the edges and you would get a really good effect. Done, super easy, that's it. If you wanted to copy that, I would just hop back in the Fusion, I would click on the node, I would hit Command C on a Mac, jump back into the Edit tab, take the next video clip, put it in fusion and you can repeat that step over and over and over again. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, hold up, wait a second. That is not what you showed us at the beginning. You just showed us how to make something and the look was completely different. This is an easy way to go about and make it inside Resolve. No problem, no plugins, nothing like that. However, if you wanna up your game and take it one step further, I am super excited to announce my vintage pack. It goes live today. Links are for it in the description below. I'm gonna show you guys everything about it and how I would take it onto my footage and up it and make it look way better and just take it to that next level. So we're gonna hop inside this special folder right here and inside this I have sound effects, overlays, burns, film damage, and I've got a couple LUTs that I've already installed in here but do come with the pack. We've got two different kinds of film projectors. I've got a 16 millimeter and a 35 millimeter sound effect and they're both awesome, just, yeah. In the damage folder, we've got a whole bunch of different overlays, some with faster noise, some with just dust and scratches. I even added a glitch one in there, just possibly hinting at maybe something in the VHS realm might be coming later next year. 
you didn't hear it from me. In the burn folder, we've got three different film burns plus a film burn transition. There's two different styles of film burns. There's some at 9,300 Kelvin and there's some at 3,200 Kelvin. So you have different choices to pick from and you can color those. They're very high quality. All these video clips that I'm putting in this are ProRes 422. It is very high quality and I've been working on it for a very long time. And then the last folder and the overlays, we've got my favorite ones. We've got my JH old film overlay. This is kind of a stylized different one, not really 16 millimeter. It's just kind of this different stylized one that I kept tweaking with until I found something I was happy with. You've also got this VHS glitchy overlay that'll kind of make it look more if you're going for the VHS or the 80s kind of vibe something like that and then my personal favorite you've got the eight millimeter overlay with my style induced on it this is hands down my favorite overlay I've used it a bunch even on some recent music videos I just did uh, let me show you guys how I would go about it so the first thing I would do is go to the damages I would find a damage that I like I think this one's pretty good so I'm just gonna grab it drop it on top we'll just trim it just for the video that I need we're gonna go up here into the inspector mode and we're gonna hit add and in here you can tweak and change things however you see fit if you would like to you can also mess around with a whole bunch of different styles and finding a look that works for you overlay seems to work really good and also screen works really well so we're gonna do those two I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit I think that looks pretty good if you want to you can hop in the color tab and you can actually mess with the curves and really kind of dial in however you would like to really move that white down maybe it's coming in just a little hot jump back in the edit tab and then you can also mess with the screen even more until you find a look that you're really happy with then I would jump to the overlays and in here I'm gonna grab my favorite overlay just the hi8 overlay I'm gonna drag it out to fit my video clip in here I'm gonna go all the way to overlay down at the bottom and then the best result that I found is actually clicking on the video clip itself crop it in to give you the best result I did the same thing here you can see on the sides it's really punching that black to the bottom like it would actually be from true film being scanned in then if you wanted to you could jump to the burns you could pick one of the burns that you're liking I think that one looks pretty good so we're just gonna add this one right on top we're gonna go to add that looks pretty good if you wanted to you could add multiple film burns I think that looks pretty good right there and then again you could do the same thing mess with color dodge screen overlay add whatever you're wanting don't be scared to mess with different styles that's the fun part about these then if I wanted to top it all off I would add a sound effect underneath it and I would just drag that mug all the way out for the video and that's it and then if you want to you can hop in the color tab mess with different colors on each individual clip or make a whole compound clip on the whole thing and then put a color effect on top of it different looks different styles it's up to you there you go guys that's how you do the super 8 effect inside resolve 16 if you guys want to pick up my vintage pack it's in my store links are in the description below go check this pack out for today through friday i am running a sale a crazy sale for launching a new product it is actually going to be 40 percent off you heard me correct 40 percent off for just this week just this little sliver of time if you put in the promo code vintage 40 at checkout you will get 40 percent off this sale will not last very long and every bit of money that goes into this store it goes back into giving back to you guys and helping me create new things new products new free things i've got a bunch of new free things coming out so don't think i'm just doing only paid stuff keep checking the store i'll drop new videos on it anyways guys that's it for me today give me a thumbs up if you like this video drop a comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos i'm the iron giant you guys are amazing i'm out you know when you're so excited that you set up a camera and you forget if you're even shooting in 4k or in raw for that matter of fact because that's how i shoot everything and Here's hoping. How you, how you guys digging the uh, lights I put up in the background on that shelf? It uh, looks way better, doesn't it? Now I just gotta get some more cool stuff to put back there. If you guys have stuck around this long, make sure you drop something below so I know you guys were watching till the end.
kids went to go see a movie super quiet in the house right now they went to see that like adam's family movie or whatever um so i am enjoying the peace and quiet in this house right now kudos to my wife for taking them to the movies